With all the insane gameplays I've been getting here in the past few days, I've gotten hundreds of requests to show you guys my class setups, and today that is exactly what I'll be doing. Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Today, I'm going to bring you guys the best class setup in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now that the game's been out for a few weeks, I've been able to use all the guns, use all the attachments, all the perks, and everything like that. So, I've been finally able to finalize what I think is the best class setup. But before we get into the actual class setup, I just want to thank you guys for all the recent support you guys have been showing uh, on all my videos, all the new subscribers. Everyone, just want to thank you guys. Big shout out to all you guys that have been watching my videos and liking them and everything like that. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into the class setup. Alright guys, so right now you are looking at the best class setup, at least in my opinion. So, of course it is with the BAL-27, one of the most overpowered guns in the game. And I definitely think a nerf to it wouldn't hurt too much at all. So, um, real quick, I want to say that this class setup and perk setup and kill streak setup um, can really work with any gun. You know, like the uh, attachments that I have in this gun can work with any assault rifle. You know, if you just replace the BAL with an AK-12, it's still going to be an amazing class. Um, however, if you put on a submachine gun, you might need to tweak the attachments a little bit. But uh, for the most part, this is going to be the best class for getting DNA bombs. So, uh, like I said, it's the BAL-27, probably the best assault rifle in the game with the suppressor because whenever you're on a kill streak, you definitely want to stay uh, as off the radar as possible and as hard to find so people can't really hunt you down and kill you if they know you're on a kill streak. And then I have stock because stock really does help a lot, especially if you have a scuff. Uh, having that fast strafing ability combined with a little jump shot can make you a lot harder to kill uh, and can save your life definitely more than once. And then I decided to put on extended mags because with how fast paced this game is, everyone dashing around, jumping around, um, you know, you're going to run into more than one enemies at least once and the extended mags uh, will help you out. Now, for perk 1, I do have perk 1 greed on and I have the low profile so I stay off the radar because nearly every single person runs a UAV or a support UAV. So the enemy team almost always has a constant UAV, so low profile uh, will actually be used to your advantage more often than not. And then I have flak jacket, because nothing sucks more than dying to like a grenade on like a 20 kill streak. So flak jacket definitely will save your life. And then blind eye, in case in the off chance uh, the enemy team gets like a, a sentry gun or something like that. So blind eye is also a great perk. Now perk 3 is where I struggled and wasn't really sure what to do. Now it seems like most of the good perks in this game are actually in perk 3. We have toughness, which in my opinion you need. Then you have blast suppressor, which is very helpful. Uh, it helps keeps you invisible on the minimap whenever you dash or double jump or anything like that. And then you have scavenger, which is also almost necessary because you need the extra ammo. Um, and scavenger is also like fully loaded in this game where it starts you out with those extra bullets. So... Um, me personally, I just decided to go with toughness and scavenger because toughness, I can't tell you how many times I'll die on a kill streak because I get in a gunfight and my aim is going everywhere because I don't have toughness. So um, I've learned the hard way, and I think that personally in this game, you need toughness. Now, um, the next one I was debating between scavenger and blast. Blast suppressor, I think? Yeah, and blast suppressor. So I ended up going with scavenger because the extra ammo um, is very important, and I figured that. Um, blast suppressor is a great perk if not the best perk in the game but you know you can refrain from doing all the dashes and double jumps and stuff like that so um, you know that blast suppressor is a great perk but uh, I think if you can just get out of the habit of double jumping and sprinting so much and just like doing all like the stuff that puts you on the radar um, when you're on a big kill streak you don't really need it and you can definitely survive without it now I only put one score streak on this class and that was the UAV because this definitely does help you out a lot on um, telling you where the enemies are and everything like that so on the UAV I have the extra assist points because that'll help you get another UAV because you keep getting points every single time uh, you get it or one of your teammates get a kill uh, it helps, you know, it gives you like 15 points towards your next UAV. I also have the threat detection on, uh, which is basically like a wall hack. Like whenever the UAV sweeps, it shows the enemies through the wall too. And uh, it's really, really helpful. I'd say it's better than the orbital VSAT uh, in the other Call of Duty. So, but that does add an extra 350 points having those two things on. So it ends up costing 750 points, which is about 15 kills if you're playing like hard point and you don't play the objective. So it definitely is a costly UAV. But uh, if you hop on the objective every once in a while, maybe cap a flag in domination or get a capture kill or two, I uh, definitely can go a lot faster. So this is probably the best class setup, at least in my opinion. I don't think you need any exo abilities because uh, really the only good one that I like to use is exo overclock. And that won't really help you out too much. Uh, and then the exo launcher or the grenades, they're all pretty much... I don't know, I can't, I, the grenades aren't too powerful in this game, uh, and stuns don't really do too much, so I don't really find those as necessary. And then the secondary, I just have the combat knife, because I don't really see myself 
using my secondary too much ever. And the secondaries in this game aren't really that amazing. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below letting me know if you want to see more class setups. Also, go follow me on Twitter. Link for that will be down in the description. Subscribe for more Advanced Warfare content, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.